morning or afternoon I should say um, I believe that unboxing videos is kind of trendy well it was kind of trendy years ago obviously I'm old so I'm a bit beyond the time so what I'm gonna do is a skate shop owner so I thought I'd give you a bit of an insight into unboxing a package that you get from a distributors now I've just had three boxes in from UK's biggest stable distributor, which is Shiner down in Bristol. So what I thought I'd do is I would unbox them live so you can see the sort of things that I might get. Starting with a little cardboard box. Next up, what we got? A couple of Power Supreme t-shirts. That looks like a Santa Cruz t-shirt. Got a Bones Ripper t shirt that will fill out of stock. Got some 187 wrist guards. Protect yourself there. This looks like a big box of fixings, I guess. Or a big bag of fixings. Got some other bits in there as well, like this, you know, little. You can see that little slasher keyring, I quite like that. That's quite nice. I'll count those off in a bit. We've got some Ryan King Destructor trucks. I'm holding those into the camera, I don't know how close it is. I suppose I should have a look at my little monitor stroke thing here, it might tell me. Oh, I don't know, who cares? Anyway, we've got some Ryan King Destructors. Set of Spitfires, do 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 do. Those are OG classics in 58 mil. One, two, three, four, five. Six sets of Pal G bones. Boom, reissue wheels. Classics from the 80s reissued, 64 mil, 97A. Santa Cruz cell block rails, slim lines and standards, just a little top up there in the ones that I'd run out of. Some 187 knee pads, that's the small box. Alright, let's go and grab a deck box, see what's in the deck box. These are the big heavy ones, what have we got in here? <coughs> okay. Normally what I'd do is when they come out of the bag, I'd check them off a little list. We get sent these little lists as well, like stock list, delivery notes, I guess you'd call it. There's one here, for example. You always have to tick off what you've got, in, got this turned up. Make sure it's all there, present and correct. What we got? Oh, okay. Look at this little beauty. It's brand new Steve Caballero Chinese Dragon reissue. Just come out. Lovely reissue. Go really well with those G-Bones. I've also got some black G-Bones in stock. That might go well with that. I'm pretty sure these might all be cab. Let's have a look. The cab. Cab. Four. Number five, I'm pretty sure I ordered half a dozen cabs. And there's number six of the Caballero. Top graphic right there, little blue, classic dragon top graphic. All right, we have Ray Bones, Rodriguez, Skull and Sword. Nice colorway there. Not sure if they call that turquoise or neon, can't really remember. What does it say on the delivery note? Skull and Sword. Do, 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 do. Aqua. Yeah, makes sense. Aqua. One of those. And the Anderson board. This is the seven ply variation. It's not the flight deck. Obviously, he had flight decks first. This is the seven ply in the eight point, whatever it is, four five, I believe.
Got another Ray Burns Rodriguez, this time with a yellow wood stain. I actually had one of these when I was younger, a yellow Rodriguez, but I'm pretty sure it had a red skull on it. Same graphic, but it's on the Geiger shape this time. Nice little pop in pink there on the white. Yeah, that's all for that box. Just leave us one last box. This one oh, opens from the top, so this is a bit more awkward to open. Kind of how they usually are, is when you open them up like this, you just slide them out onto the floor. Pretty sure this is going to be more PAL decks. I have to just dump this out. There you go, dump this one out onto, onto the floor, I guess. Let's have a look. Lots of chaos here. Ah, this time, take these all together so they don't move about in transit. That way they hopefully don't get scratched, but as you can see, this is how we get sent our boards as distributors, well, as skate shops from the distributors, kind of all wrapped up. A little bit of brown paper, packing paper. Not massive amounts, but it kind of does the job. It protects them, that's all you need. As long as you get the board in good nick. Okay, we've got a ripper there, OG ripper. Natural, with kind of blue tints, black there. We've got another three of these. The old Geigers, Skull and Swords. Three more of those, that's four of them in total. McGill. Mike McGill, inventor of the McTwist. A couple of his pigs. Early tenant board. We have some, whatever colour that is, I've forgotten again, Aqua. Geigers with the Ripper graphic this time. This one, Bato Ratbones. I kind of thought that was interesting. It looks a lot like the colourway they did for the Christmas one years and years ago. But it is also the same green that they're going to be using in the next series, the Series 12, I think it is, or maybe Series 13, the Bones Brigade reissues. So this one will sit really well along those on a wall. If you're going to collect all those, I've cut all those in. Actually two, we've got three of them. And the final board, well, this one really pops. This is a beautiful bright orange ripper pig. Yeah, there you go. So that's what I've got. That's everything from a Shiner package. Here's the chaos that is now on my floor. That is an unboxing video. Sorry it's so long, sorry it's so boring. Just thought you might want to know what an unboxing video is for a skate shop owner. Todd Twist, skate shop. Bye, bye, bye from me.